Welcome back to the Deadly Premonition Let's Play. Uh, <clears throat> last part we didn't really do much, but this part we're actually gonna be uh, doing something. I forgot to record the dialogue that was actually in the beginning before, like we when you get the cards like dialogue, and I forgot to record it. So yeah, uh, I also like did not record a big chunk of this driving because let's be honest, that's getting quite annoying. And if I would have recorded that, it would have been like a good portion of the video. So I uh, I went ahead and uh like just started driving out here. I uh, I would have recorded the dialogue and then edited it in together, but I didn't. I forgot there was actually dialogue. All right, here we are. Oh, so in the last part, yeah, we got York, this new suit. Air and gravity, perhaps. Access at games. Aliens and Godzilla. Who knows? Is it important to know? Why don't you just ask Nick? Oh, I know. But first, I need to eat. But what's good here? I think you guys are actually going to see me get uh, Gret Gotch with that guitar. I think you guys are going to see me do that in this episode. Welcome, Mr. Agent. Do it off camera. Hi, Olivia. Let me have your special for today. And some fresh coffee. Our special today is turkey. A turkey and gravy sandwich. Sound good? Perfect. Emily, you eat something, too. It'll be on the FBI. Okay, then. I'll go all out. I'll have the T-bone steak. I usually can't order it because it's a little too expensive. I like these parts of the game with the dialogue and characters. This game is always just 10 out of 10, in my opinion. If it is ready, I thank you a bunch. Yes, of course. Just a moment. Sounds like the sinner's sandwich. Self-inflicted punishment to atone for past sins. He's setting an example. You should try this wonderful lunch. It's more than a delicious, tasty crunch. So says Mr. Stewart. You no, know, that's fine. I've just ordered my own lunch. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Ah, that is. Mr. Stewart's order is delicious, I should mention. And Mr. Nick Cormack is a genius for creating this perfection. So says Mr. Stewart. Still, I have a hunch I might not like it. You sure that sandwich is that good? Francis York Morgan, making decisions based on intuitions is always a sign of bad FBI agents. So says Mr. Stewart. I'll give it a try. It's got red seeds in it. I love this part, the music and everything. Olivia, I'm sorry, but can I change my order? I'll have what Harry is like. <laughs> I've always made you laugh at faces they make. Nick and Diane. They hardly make the perfect couple, do they? Is it widely known that they go drinking together, just the two of them? 
To be honest, I don't pay attention to these things. Not into local gossip? Well, when I moved here, I was still in high school, and I kept wearing the same wild clothes from my school in Seattle. I was young back then. And before I knew it, there were rumors all over the school. She'll screw anyone. That's what they said. Totally unfounded, of course. Anyway, after that, I just sort of chose not to really trust gossip. I get where you're coming from. I used to dress like a hardcore punk rocker when I was in high school. <laughs> you? A punk rocker? <laughs> Nobody took my side. Even when I had good grades, people rejected me just because of what I wore. I was young back then, too. You know, you take a look at York, right? Uh, I'm not trying to talk about this person, but you take a look at York. You think this guy is definitely 35 okay. to 33, maybe. Let's talk to Nick. Maybe 28. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Okay, um, now... Let's actually save real quick. There's a, like, thing over here. What is in here? Let's take a look at this. Ah, the diner menu card. That thing was trying to be sneaky, wasn't it? Let's get this. Agent of Honor. Agent of Honor is pretty much money in this game. I think I've already explained that. And by the way, wherever you save is actually kind of your, like, checkpoint. Unless you're, like... Unless it's, a, like, a raincoat killer um, segment, then they'll just take you back to that segment. Which is pretty cool, because this game actually has better checkpoints than GTA 4 does. Yeah, I think we had to talk to Nick, I believe, is what York said. How do you talk to Nick? Oh, okay. Simple like that, huh? What's up? Could you tell me as to what you were doing the night that Anna was killed? I was at the bar with Diane. What did you, what did you two talk about, Nick? Remember and turn the, is a problem? No, 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 no problem. If you think Diane did it, you, you're wrong. No, that's not it. So is it going to be me, you, after, isn't it? You're wrong again. So much for the FBI, huh? This dialogue is retarded. Skip it. I, I, I can't. All right, we talked to Nick. I believe we can leave after we talked to. Why does she look? Like she's frozen in place. There's something I'd like to confirm with you, Olivia. If that's okay. Yes. Well, so long as it doesn't take too long. First. What were you and Nick doing on the night of the murder? I was here in the diner. How would Nick you ask if we just looked at the top of the drinks? Does it go to the bar off? Leaving you to hold up the fort? Yes. He says he enjoys the conversation with Diane. I thought they went drinking again together that night. Do the three of you ever go drinking together? Well... You see, I, I'm really not into art. And your husband is well versed in the arts, then, I take it. Oh, yes. Um, looking at art and talking about it is his way of relaxing. <laughs> People just aren't what they seem. Uh. I think you went to the gallery not to see trees, but to see Diane, right? Oh. <laughs> Meet me in the backyard. You can get there from the parking lot. I'll wait for you there for an hour after we close up. Oh boy, we're about to go into our next raincoat. They close at 2100. We're about to go into our next raincoat killer segment. Um, this part is pretty fun. 
I think after this though, um, like off camera, I'm gonna get the right coach because let that guitar is really strong, and I won't need any more melee weapons after that. <coughs> What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Dude, my game just freeze. Don't tell me my game just froze. Oh my god, do not tell me my game just froze when I'm in the middle of recording. Oh, I will be pissed if it did. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Did something unplug from the back of it? Oh my god, it, it, it fucking froze! What the fuck? Oh my god damn it, my Xbox overheated. Oh, that's bullshit. It shouldn't have overheated. Are you kidding me? I fucking ugh. I don't care. I'm I'm not I'm not editing any of this out. Oh, my fucking Xbox overheated. Christ. Oh, that is bullshit. Fucking freezes right in the middle of fucking recording. Are you kidding me? This is stuff that you guys don't really see on camera anyway, so whatever, I'll show it on camera. Motherfucking ass. If this freezes again, I'm gonna have to fucking like turn my Xbox off and let it cool down a little bit. I don't know why it did that. That was weird. That was weird. It shouldn't have done that. That was weird. I've had this game for about, I've had this game since 2015, it's never frozen like that. That was kind of weird. It's a good thing I saved where I did, or else I'd have to do the whole damn drive thing again. <sighs> Fucking A. Whatever, I don't feel like ending the recording off of that, because <laughs> that'd be kind of stupid if I did. Holy shit, that was not supposed to happen. I don't know why it decided it wanted to freeze. That pisses me off a little bit, not gonna lie. Previously during the yeah, okay, we don't need to watch that. It's pointless. Okay, hopefully it doesn't do that again. That was weird. Okay, alright. Uh, no, I didn't mean to, for fuck's sake. Quit your quit. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Talk to. Move, Emily. Talk to Nick again. Alright. I already recorded that, so skip it. And. Please do not freeze again. Let's do Olivia again. Let's get the dialogue immediately. Skip all of it. They close at 20. Okay, yeah, that was weird. I don't know why it froze like that. That's the first time that happened. So they closed 2120. So we'll smoke a cigarette and we'll do it that way. It's easier. I don't know. That was weird. I've had this game since 2015. It's never frozen like that. That was weird. That was like really fucking weird. <laughs> Agent York, what do we do now? I want to hear what Olivia has to say. Let's kill time until the... Yeah, so it's 10.34. Oh. We gotta come around here, so let's go ahead and... Um... this. 
I have a York Delight it. Okay, and I'll start that. All right. This just speeds up time faster. What time is it now? It's close. It's 15. Let's go ahead and eat something. Get York's hunger up. done with that. He's getting kind of sleepy as well. This case. Alright, after that, we'll, that should be enough. And if not, I'm going to shit a brick. Okay. Apparently not. Okay. Well, just still got a few minutes, so let's go ahead and uh, take one more. That should do it. Don't want to smoke these for too long because it does make the time go up probably pretty fast. Okay. Uh, one more. Here I'm thinking, geez, this recording is just. This episode, this, this recording of this episode is pretty bad because my fucking game decided it wanted to freeze because my damn, it wasn't even my disc actually, it was the fucking Xbox, it overheated. That's the problem with 360, like Xbox 360s. Okay, alright, that's good, alright. That's the problem with 360s. They have that issue where they want to... They had an issue where they, I think if they overheat, they can make the disc freeze. Well then, Olivia, talk to me. Y yes. In the beginning, Nick only went to the gallery during the day, but he went so often at some point he became friendly with Diane. They started going out drinking together, and now he doesn't come home until early morning. Diane says that they were only drinking. He blames me for not being able to talk about Turner and Rembrandt, which of course I can't, can I? So what can I say? take it anymore so i followed him he did go to the bar to start with diane was there too but the real problem is where they go to next right so i waited outside the bar to see where he might go and, and they eventually left the bar and headed for the art gallery but it was it was already early morning for a moment. I was so rattled that I left and went home. The next day, Anna was found dead. I, I didn't know what to do. It's a little suspicious on Nick, on Nick and Diane's thing. It's a little suspicious on Nick's part. Now we have to go and follow Nick.
So, yeah, we're gonna go follow Nick now. house because York is worried that something bad is going to happen to Becky. So we have to get over to where Becky's house is at. We have to go to the um, bar. Yeah guys, uh, you don't want to go to this bar late because then you have to go and do all that over again and wait for him and it's a real pain in the ass and it's not enjoyable and it's like no. So and by the way this is a kind of like in GTA where they had those spook alert missions. This is what it's kind of like. Um, if you get too far away of him, he gets away. If you stay too far back away, he'll... Uh, if you stay too back far away from him, he'll, he'll get away. But if you like get too close to him, he gets spooked, he go away. And I don't enjoy this chase very much, the car. It's a real pain in the ass. And also, I believe it broke hunger was going down. Oh, that it is. Shit. Let's get that filled back up. The sleeping is getting a bit down, too. Let's... Take care of York's hunger real quick. Get that filled up. Uh, <coughs> this actually, yeah, this fills up York's just a little faster. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and not. Uh, no, you prick. Move, dick. All right, we gotta quickly get there. I'd be driving the wrong way. All right, I'm freaking myself out already. Let's go ahead and turn the car around. For this, let's we're in a hurry. Like segments like this, where you need to be in a hurry to get something, they give you infinite gas and uh, health on your car, which is pretty cool. And I realized the show went straight there, and I did. I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's quickly head out there. there to the bar and follow Nick. Pretty far drive. Long drives all around.
drive over there. Bum, 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 bum. Long drive, long drive. This part, yeah, we're about to enter another shadow level area. Shadow levels are always pretty creepy, and this one especially is creepy. It is actually inside Becky's house. Oh, we're going in Becky's house right away. I thought there was a horror fault, Nick. Oh, that's after this. I forgot. Becky, I'm sorry. It's only the same since I got you. Quit. Tell me, what did you see? Time to enter another shadow level. And there's the raincoat killer. And that means we enter a shadow level terms. I believe that door is locked. Because you know it's not. We're gonna need that. I don't think we want to sleep on that bed. <sighs> it looks like the raincoat killer got cranky. Which makes Nick look a little suspicious. Same silk white, the same red silk dress that uh, Becky uh, or Anna was uh, was wearing. Wow, that was a nice TV, and now it's destroyed. That's a let's go ahead and save. This level is a uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. And look who we see. This is why you need to get new weapons, cause you know we haven't tried out the machine gun yet. Let's use it. Jesus Christ. She done a little bit better of a job. Sounds like a music box playing.
<laughs> okay, well, obviously we're dealing with shadows here. simple level. Actually, I'm going to trick these guys to go... Oh, God! Shit. Shadow people again. And also, here's the Rainco killer has returned. Last time we saw him, he was at the lumber mill, so yeah. And no, I will not play through this entire shadow level in this episode. I will play through half of it though. And by the way, my brother's getting mad at his tablet. So ignore that. Shotgun's amazing. It's best to use it like when you're surrounded. to like use all the machine gun ammo because I will not be probably getting the infinite uh, fucking machine gun ammo done because that involves getting a spiritual map from Keith and doing the spiritual map thing can be really difficult because the last part of the spiritual map has a bunch of shadows with shotguns and those are things that are pain in the ass. I will be picking up infinite weapons later though like the Maverick the Maverick the, Ma the Maverick, that's a really good strong pistol in this game, and, I, and that's, obviously we were just using the machine gun, obviously we're going to need these bullets. We are here now. Um... See that creepy logo up here. One of the clues we need. Honestly, if I was York, I would come in here with Emily. That way you can have some backup. I wouldn't go in here alone. Like, it's already creepy enough. Let's go in here with Tonks. Some backup. This is just a shadow. 
In fact, this one's kind of an idiot. In case he stays there. Best to use melee weapons. That's where the music box is coming from. And uh, it has red seeds in it. in our, uh, in our uh, toolbox because we're going to need them. So that blocks. So we got to go this way. Obviously, we, again, we do not want to sleep on that bed. No saves. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, there is. I think. Hmm. I want to keep playing, but at the same time, I think it'd be better if I stopped the recording here. Yeah, we're going to stop the recording here, and we'll continue more of this uh, tomorrow, because it's already a long video, and I don't want to overdo it. So yeah, that's going to do it for this. In the next part, we'll probably finish this level. Peace.